Morning folks, it is Monday the 10th of August and we're going to read together from Psalm 42 this morning. Let's hear what we have, what the psalmist says. As a deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, the living God. Where can I go and stand before him? Day and night I have only tears for food, while my enemies continually taunt me, saying, Where is this God of yours? My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshippers, leading a great procession to the house of the Lord, singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of great celebration. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Saviour and my God. Now I am deeply discouraged. But I will remember you, even from distant Mount Hermon, the source of the Jordan, from the land of the mountain Mazur. I hear the tumult of the raging seas as your waves and surging tides sweep over me. But each day the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me, and through each night I sing his songs, praying to God who gives me life. O oh God, my rock, I cry. Why have you forgotten me? Why must I wander about in grief, oppressed by my enemies? Their taunts break my bones. They scoff, where is this God of yours? Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my saviour and my God. Amen. The end of Psalm 42. Probably most people recognise the start of that psalm as the deer longs for streams of water so much so I long for you, O God. If you think about singing the psalm, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. It's a very famous one, and it's one we sing a number of times as well. But as you read through the psalm, you know there's more than that than the longing for God. You wonder why the psalmist longs, and the psalmist talks about my heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshippers, leading a great procession to the house of God, singing with joy and giving thanks amid the sound of great celebration. Is your heart breaking today? Are you lamenting the fact that we are still not back into church again yet? Probably a lot of us are. A lot of us do feel that. We want to be together again. Um, because of that sense of community, that sense of worship together, that just that sense of being able to celebrate. And maybe... You're getting to the stage where you're saying, will it ever be the same again? Well, the reality is things will change. But change can be good as well. And we need to embrace that change. But worshipping God is not just about gathering in the church. It's about how we worship it in our hearts. What we're doing in here, inside us. What's going on in there. This psalmist seems to have turned his back on God at some stage, neglected him. Because it says, why am I so discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? And then he says, I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my saviour and my God. It's as if something has happened and he's been shaken and the psalmist has walked away from God for a while. But now realises that they need God and turns back again. You know, in all of this that's going on at this time, God has not turned his back on us. God is still with us. We as human beings get frustrated and we turn our back on God. We just need to refocus our eyes upon him, to see him, our rock, who hasn't forgotten us, the one who is always there with us, and just hold on to him. So yeah, it's difficult at the time. Uh, we're not in our buildings but we still worship God where we are every day of life. That's what it's all about. So this morning, on a Monday morning at the start of a week, let's give thanks, let's worship God as we remember who he is and thank him for his goodness to us. Let's pray together. Father, at the start of another week, as we come together, again, we just remember exactly who you are that you are God, that you are the creator, that you are 
Father, Son and Spirit, that you are the Saviour, you're the one who dwells in us. Lord, you are so good to us and you never turn your back on us. Father, forgive us whenever we stray from you and turn our back on you. Forgive us whenever we lose hope because of what we want rather than looking towards what you want for us. So Lord, yes, as lockdown continues, as our country starts to open again, as things start to return to normal, but whistle, we still wait for church to get up and running, just be with us and help us. Thank you that we have this medium, Father, that we can, we can be united through this, but help us also to be encouraged through it, Lord, to be drawn closer to you, that we would spend more time with you, focus our heart on you, turn again and renew our hope in you and our strength. Father, thank you. Continue with us this day and this week, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow morning, same time, same place. Take care. God bless. Bye.